I know it's been a good minute since y'all got a short vid out of me, but this was a show I wanted to check out, so I might as well check it out with y'all. And it gives me a little break from the 40 minute vids. But yeah, I seen them trailers and it caught my eye. Now, first thing I gotta say is that opening is tough. Now, first thing we see is homegirl arguing with her boyfriend. Now, fellas, you do not want to be like this guy. This is what you call a bum. Asking your girl for money to take her out is diabolical work. These are the type of guys who peak in high school. Ten years later, you're going to try to get some Mickey D's when you see them at the cash register. Oh, man, Kev, that's you? Remember me? We went to the same school together. How's it been? We are not friends, bro. Even back in school, we was at most associates. They be trying to spark a full-blown convo like, bro, this is not what I came here for. The last thing I want to do at McDonald's is have a reunion. Just hand me my nuggets, dude. But to make it even more weird, dude was like, oh yeah, I can just take you to a love hotel. I can't even blame her. She was going straight for the juggler. That guy's a weirdo. But it was to no avail. She got dropped immediately. So she has the class and her friends are clowning her goofy ass. They told her not to date that bum, but she still did it anyway. And her excuse was that he looked like Ken Sakakura, whoever that is. But now that that's out the way, the fuck is that? What is this monstrosity on my screen? Not gonna lie, you gotta fight somebody. Your parents, siblings, shit, even your so-called friends right behind you. They just let you walk in the house like that with that bullshit on your face. Obviously, they don't care about you. And you got the supplies on your desk like you did a good job, bro. Throw that shit away. Makeup could be cool. Just make sure it's not in your hands. Also, on another note, is this how Japanese people see us? Because there's times when they get us right. They got better over the years. But there's times when they fully despise us. So she was walking the halls when she peeps these kids bullying this dude. And how bad does the bullying gotta be for the entire class to segregate? They refuse to sit next to bro. And why are you throwing paper? Like you not sitting by yourself just like him. They are not gonna be friends with you, bro. You can cut it out. And look at these badass kids. Throwing paper is already crazy, but putting a magnet in there is out of pocket. Where are the teachers at? Anime makes it seem like there's only three teachers in the entire school, bro. Help him. They getting creative now. Who just casually has a magnet in their pocket? They gonna start smuggling in contraband next week. But that's when homegirl sits next to him and all of them got in line. But now she's back to waddling in the halls and I don't even know how bro got here instant transmission but he goes full dwee mode talking about how trump met up with aliens or something like that homegirl was like yeah i don't really care about ufos and stuff um, actually they're called uaps unidentified aerial phenomena i'm glad she walked away because he just kept going but her walking away must have not been a big enough hint huh i don't care Leave me alone, you dweeb. The last thing I need is your dork ass shoving your weird books in my face. That's why you have no friends, you fucking loser. But that guilt immediately kicked in. When you say something crazy expecting them to fire back but they don't, now you feel like a dickhead. Now you have to apologize. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't believe aliens are real, but I believe ghosts are. You believe in ghosts at your grown age? You know, maybe he isn't that bad. I kind of like this guy. They was arguing about it and ugh, this angle is way worse. Look like a damn skull trooper. So they made a deal that he has to go somewhere haunted and if he sees a ghost, he becomes her servant. And the same goes for her. If she sees an alien, she becomes his servant. So it cussed her at the place and not gonna lie, I thought this was a group project. Why are you here by yourself? They're talking to each other on the phone. It turns out bro was on a whole different map looking for ghosts huh? so you're both stupid never watched a horror movie before oh yeah she's doomed meanwhile bro was tweaking out and yelling in a tunnel and momo was like oh by the way ghosts don't like loud noises at least that's what they say online huh? oh so you're a fraud i'm not a fraud i told you my grandma's a medium she's the one who raised me both my parents are dead damn okay uh 
I don't know why you felt the need to tell him that. Now of all times, there's a time and a place and this was neither. Like that information had no benefit on the convo at all. If anything, you made it awkward. Cause what else can you say to that besides sorry? But I guess that was supposed to lead into her backstory. So when she was younger, her grandma had her doing this ritual pose for good luck. Doesn't matter where she was at, where she was going, she was told to do the pose. But it got to the point where her classmates started making fun of her. Worst of all, her little crush was in on it too. And kids gonna be kids. She told her grandma that she hates her and is never doing that pose again. But she wasn't really mad about her little crush not liking her back. She was more mad that her little crush was making fun of her grandma. And all that was to say that she believes in ghosts because she loves her grandma and she believes in what she does. Then she was like, now it's your turn to tell me why you believe in aliens. Uh, shit, I don't know. They kind of cool, so why not? You know, I kind of like this. They're easy to talk to. We should do this more often. Damn, I must be too- oh. I let you suckle my teats, boy. If you let me gobble your dog. What? Man, I can already see the comments now. Hey, Kev, hear me out. No, keep your fetishes away from me. See, this guy got the right idea. That ghost motives are out of pocket. Like, you don't want to kill me or anything? Take over my body, perhaps? Why is your goal to be a freak? But unfortunately, running was pointless. Got hit with a domain expansion. And at that point, he was doomed. <laughs> But they're in this together. If one gets caught, so does the other. Got ran up on by three Mr. Beans. And not gonna lie, a lot of questionable activities is going on right now. She wakes up trapped in a chair, clothes torn, surrounded by these freak demons talking about some We are a friendly species. Unfortunately, we are all male, so we cannot reproduce normally. What is that? Bro, what is going on? Look at his face, that boy is ecstatic, happiest he ever been. And it's just getting freakier and freakier. They started using psychic abilities to force arousal. Huh? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. They're pushing boundaries, but not quite hitting the line yet. Terrible timing. Your girl's busy. He did not let that slide, took that shit to heart, and climbing through a phone is cool as shit, not even gonna lie. But the first thing he does, huh? Shit, I ain't know Diddy had influence on other planets. Shaboing going munching as your primary attack is wicked work. Like on one hand, ayo. You had a lot of options there, but you choose to chomp on Shaboing Boing. But on the other hand, that might've been a big brain play. Huh? If you think about it, you can take a couple punches to the face and be all right. But once you get hit below the belt, you're finished. And even if you do get back up, that's minus 30 to your strength, minus 45 on your speed, minus 58 to accuracy, minus 71 to intellect, your armor broke, health is on 1 HP, it's really a downhill battle from there. I'm just saying that might have been a good strategy. Would I do it? <laughs> Fuck no. I'd rather fight Batman himself than do that. My job was to recognize the game plan, I'm not the one on the court. Cause look, it did work. He's not getting up anytime soon. And Momo is a funny person. She sees bro, makes direct eye contact, sees his predicament, proceeds to say nothing along the lines of, oh, are you okay? Is that still you in there? She said, get me out of here now. And I respected every word. I'll check up on you when I'm safe. But then the Mr. Beans proceed to rip their skins off. And this episode must be Shaboing Boing theme because they cannot stop talking about it. Give us your banana. Kill me. So homeboy dodges all their attacks, hits them with a jump scare and ain't oh no way. God. The Shaboing Boing bandit strikes again. He literally had a free headshot but still went for the jewels. That is insane. I really hope when he gets back in control, someone tells him about his nefarious acts. About to make a name for yourself for the wrong reasons. So he goes for the next one but gets shut down immediately. But that's when he had his main character moment. I don't care what you do to me. I never had any friends and I thought if anyone would, it would be aliens. I called out to you for years, but you never showed up. I got bullied nonstop and no one cared. But Momo was the only one who stood up for me. I won't let anyone hurt her. <laughs> Shut up, Goofy. Yeah, that's enough fighting for one day. But when one MC gets that power up, the other has to get one too. And is that a flashback I see? Yeah, I'll go ahead and say they won this fight. She just learned how to release her chi. And she couldn't connect that kick earlier, so she said, fuck it, why not let it fly? 
And for a split second there, I thought she pulled off a crazy feat. Was about to say she can probably box with Naruto in them. But turns out she just kicked bro into his own whip. Homeboy still tweaking out though. He trying to catch as many bodies as possible. But she ends up pushing the freak lady out of his body. And before leaving, I kid you not, she says she swipe or no swiped his shaboing boing. Huh? And as long as she has it, he will be cursed. If you want it back, pull up to the tunnel. Let's fight you tacky little bitch. Oh! And that was word for word. I did not come up with that. And so much is going on. Now the UFO is about to crash into the building. I got no clue how they even got in there. And there's no point in questioning it. So now they're in a weird situation. First off, Momo lost her fit. She better hope grandma is asleep by the time she get back home. But if she stops using her power on bro, then he's going to transform again. So his game plan was to give Momo his clothes while he goes on the most important mission of his life, the Shaboing Boing Retrieval Arc. Now, obviously, she wasn't going to let him do that by himself. But this next line changed their whole dynamic. Sorry. I'm an awkward guy. Could you please put this on already? I'm worried I won't be able to think straight. Hey, if it works, it works. She likes the nerdy guys. But it was really because he happened to say one of Ken Takakura's lines. The same guy she was talking about earlier. I'm assuming he's an author and she reads his books or something like that. But to confirm, she was like, I never got your name. What did you say it was again? I'm Ken. Ken Takakura. Oh yeah, he got it. Now off the first episode can't lie that was pretty cool the thing that sells for me is good characters i think i'ma like the interactions in the show also the art the art is a1 makes my eyes happy but the only problem i have is that we gotta wait a whole week for the next episode 